So here we are in Melbourne on a 600 kilowatt system across three NMIs. So there's three main switchboards in one of the outer suburbs of Melbourne. And what I have in front of me is obviously something that's used on most or all solar installations and that's solar DC cable. In this case it's 4 mil and it's twin core and what happens is the positive and the negative together makes it easy for the guys to run the cable as opposed to individually um, positive cable, individual negative cables. It's quite a small roll. It's used in certain applications. We also have a larger roll that is behind the Yuka as we speak. So this is a larger cable roll. So obviously when you're doing the really long runs, you don't want to do joins. So you want to use an unbroken run. And for the shorter runs, you've got a, a smaller cable roll. In this section here, the cable is connecting up to a DC isolated station. Now, with, in a domestic situation, you tend to put one DC isolator right next to the, the string that you're using, um, and there are rules and regulations there. In the case of um, systems over 200, or, or I believe over 240 kilowatt, there is certain um, allowances for where you can put your DC isolators. And in this case here, we've put seven DC isolating switches in uh, two enclosures. And that, so obviously we are dealing with um, seven different strings. Uh, that may differ if you are paralleling strings. Now within the tray, we have the DC cable, both positive and negative, and we also have the actual earth. And so you can see the green and yellow cable there. You can see how the cable has been bundled together and cable tied. So you can see here we have our two enclosures, both of them IP rated to uh, 65, so they can withstand basically most, I think the highest IP rating is IP68, uh, but these will withstand, They're, these are an outdoor enclosure um, designed to withstand all that um, Melbourne weather can throw at it. Now, you can see in this particular one there is three isolators, and in this particular one there's there's four. I'm not sure if they're going to be putting another one in here. Um, I haven't really gone into the nitty gritty of the design um, side of things here. And you, so you can see the cables coming in and obviously the returns are coming out. It's built on a Unistrut platform, so very robust, really heavy duty. Where they've positioned it is fairly close to the walkway. So in a, um, a safety situation or emergency situation, uh, the isolators can be turned off.